In this video, we're going to talk about the Nintendo Wii. Let's -a go! <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's awesome that you're tuning in. So in this video, we are going to take a close look at the Nintendo Wii and how is it now. So the Wii is like an amazing system. Sorry guys, I know people will hate me for it. I love the Wii for what it is, especially Wii Sports. Absolutely, this game, I played it so much. But the Wii, it still has this, this novelty to it, sometimes when I just wanted to play it. So recently I picked it up complete unboxed and it was very exciting to get this in my collection. I did own a Wii, the one that was completely scratched up, but I want to have one in box. And to be honest, especially I want to do an unboxing here on the channel too. So I came across this thing and it has been used and like heavenly used. You can see some scratches on the system too. So I think that's going to be like an all around problem with the devices. It does come complete with the base. And it comes with all the necessary cabling that we're not going to use because I really hate old school cables. This card is just fun for an old school CRT, but not for an LCD. So this bloody thing, we're not going to use it, but also going to talk about it. Then we're going to get the nunchuck. And let's see, here we're going to get the power supply. Yeah, the power supply is not very interesting. And of course, we're going to get the sensor bar. Don't need to forget this thing. Like, we went all crazy with the winding of the cable. And then we're going to get the system itself. This is the one with the option for playing some GameCube games. It also came with the controller, but there are some things that we need to talk about because the controllers collecting the stuff with that is going to be an issue. So basically, when I bought it first time, I was second hand by the way, Power of Games, I think I had like 15 games with it, but I play Wii Sports the most because the first generation of games were crap, like horrible, like horrible, horrible, horrible. So Wii Sports was one of the games I mostly played. But let's talk about the cables. So the cables, the solutions, now we're going to get some awesome solutions, including some HDMI dongles. And yep, those dongles are dirty cheap, and we also have like different kind of cables. So let's start about with the first cable, the one that came with it, and like this old school, yeah, the composite one, I don't like it. Like the signal is kind of blurry, especially when you're going to connect it to an LCD television. This is absolutely not the way to go if you want to use it on an LCD. Next up, the component. And the component cable, I love this thing. Like it can even push up the signal up to 480p. Yep, and it looks amazing. And for the Wii, it's it's just crazy, man. I love it. Like it's now now nowadays we're having 4K stuff like that, but for the Wii, it's okay. And we can even use it with the GameCube. So that's even an extra awesome thing to do. Okay, guys. So what I love about these Wii to HDMI converters or dongles, how you want to call it, like they come in black and white. These are the cheap ones from AliExpress, but I also have like the one from Mayflash. But these things are dirty cheap and a great solution. So they are lying with a full HD 1080p. And yeah, in my opinion, that's just bullshit. But the thing is like, I love these things. And yeah, the main flash is a very tiny one. It's a completely different one. Maybe in the future we can make a video about them. Like I'm also doing comparison to which one will be the best. But for now, we're just going to use one of them and plug it in and we're going to make a video about the Wii itself. But these things are like amazing. I love it, like super easy peasy. Plug in your HDMI cable and enjoy some Wii time. Or some game time with the Wii. We time, yeah. But let's talk about the freaking Wii remote. Because these things are quite difficult to find in good condition. So why do we mean in good condition? So yeah, you can see already the D-pad is a slightly different color. It's not a big of a deal. It still works. You can still connect it and can play with it. But the other thing I hate about this thing is like, man, oh man, like some of them are completely bust up and mine was missing a cover. So I needed to use a different one that I have laying around. But I would not be surprised you can find these things for a couple of dollars on AliExpress. But another thing that was like the biggest bummer of everything, I bought a couple of these Wii's just to make a video and for the collection. And I got this red one. I love this limited edition. They also like one from Joshi, Peach. I think there were a couple of them. They're quite expensive sometimes, but guess what? You don't see anything, right? But I already cleaned it up. And when you're having these bloody leaking batteries, they will destroy your Wii remotes. And that happened with this one. You can only see it when you're having like the thing opened. You can see the PCB has been damaged. And I also came across this Nyko controller. Oh man, the aftermarket crap things. I know we, you have like so many aftermarket versions. You have also like the fake ones that almost look identical, the original ones. But these Nikos, the cheap ones, oh man, this thing doesn't even freaking work. The freaking nightmare. Okay, so if you're starting collecting for the Wii and you want to have a lot of great games in your collection, be aware of like the horrible, totally messed up games. And I'm not talking about that the games are bad. No, I'm talking about this stuff. Like, what happened to this one? Like, it's all like washed out. The colors are completely gone. And when you're looking at the disc, oh boy, these are going to be scratched up. 
Like this thing is a combination of filthy and scratched up. But I can tell you, I got one in my collection that is completely messed up. Okay, so the game collection, I told you like there are so many horrible games, but a lot of like hidden gems with this system. Like the Blob is a fun game and stuff like that. Like there are a lot of cool rhythm games I love to play. But the first thing I'm noticing when collecting, so Super Mario Galaxy is one of those great examples. So let's take a close look at the disc and you can see, look at this, how filthy it is. Like people are not even like giving any value to these games or something like that. As a child, I was always like very careful with my disc and I can say like 99 of them didn't have any scratches. But now, if you're going to collect those things, be aware, it's going to be a nightmare. And guess again, look at my Wii Mario card. This thing is completely destroyed. And also, when it comes to the Super Mario Bros. Wii I'm having, yep, the same problem. Look at how the disc is like, holy shit, what are you need to do with it? Like, did you use it like a freaking frisbee or what? And this is my main problem I'm having with Wii, and this will going to be a problem in the future. But if you don't have a GameCube, and GameCubes are quite expensive sometimes, you can even play GameCube games with the Wii. But take consideration, not all of these things will have it, I will show you later what I mean. But it's pretty damn awesome, you have the memory card slot and the 4 player joypads. I think that was a cool addition, I think a lot of people didn't even know it in the beginning, because who reads the manual? Mm -hmm. Same like me. But the thing is like you're having all like all kinds of versions that are co freaking awesome. But take consideration not every single Wii you buy will have this option. So here you can see like they removed this option to make it, I'm guessing, make it cheaper and to make more profit. But a little bit of a bummer, it's an awesome feature, not all the Wii's all have. And not even to forget about modding it, because that is basically the third way to go. We can even mod a Nintendo Wii and make it the ultimate naughty system. But let's talk about it later. Okay, so the HDMI dongle, we're going to plug it in. I'm going to use the cheap one from AliExpress. We're going to power it on. We're going to first of all like connect my controller. So you can just push the red button in the remote and the Wii itself, and we are ready to go. Okay, so I really love the system itself, like the pointing. It was like pretty damn genius of Nintendo doing this, and it makes this freaking system awesome. But let's go to the settings. That's the first thing we always need to do. What we're going to do is not go to the memory. We're going to the settings of this device because we need to set up the sensor bar because I'm guessing, I'm feeling that it's not like it should be. And of course the display itself. So the display, what we're going to do is the aspect ratio and also we're going to set it to 480p. Let's press OK. It has been supported by this dongle and we're going to get way better image. And the same goes for the aspect ratio needs to be changed and the sensor bar needs to put on the bottom bar because my sensor bar is at the bottom. All right, okay, that is correct. Let's go back. All right, let's see, let's go back. Sorry guys, everything is in Dutch. I just realized it like when recording it. Sensor bar, okay, you can even like sensitivity. Under the TV, let's put it there. Yep, thank you. And we're ready to go. Okay, so let's boot up a Wii game. And yeah, let's let's start with Wii Sports. Wii Sports is an amazing game. I personally really love the, the tennis, the golf, and the bowling. Like these three are like one of my favorite games. So let's do a quick match of tennis. You can even play it with four players. I did it back in the day with some family members. It was such an awesome experience. So let's play in single game. You can also choose best of three or best out of five. Okay, so let's go. All right. Skill level 63 and 49. Okay, <clears throat> let's go. Whoa. I'm still getting the hang of it, this thing. And I reviewed so many of those bloody freaking fake ones that I realized how good the Wii was back in the day. If you didn't see it, you need to check out like, the fake Wii. Yep, I messed it up. But it's a lot of fun playing this old school game again. Wii Sports, yeah. But I think like the peripherals they made for this freaking Wii system is so much fun. Like they made these stupid racing wheels. Personally, I never used them back in the day. But yeah, who came up with these things? Like, and not even talk about the aftermarket. But sadly, I want to make a part of this video. And also want to show you, let's put this Mario Kart in. But guess what? It doesn't read it anymore. So we need to polish the bloody freaking disc. Okay, so another game I love to play. And I'm just going to be honest, and I'm not the biggest Mario fan, but I really love the 2D Marios. That's one of my favorite ones. I'm not a big fan of the 3D ones, like Galaxy, but these are like, so much cooler. And not to forget, like when you're playing this with four players, it's completely chaos. I love it, man. Like, it was such, 
That was just annoying and chaos when you wanted to play with four players. But I think like that was what the Wii makes it special. Like the two-dimensional games were so much fun. Having these two games like Wii rhythm games and the games that I like, just personally like appeal to me. But again, I'm not a big Mario fan. Team Sonic forever. So nowadays when you're having a Nintendo GameCube, you can play through special dongles, you have like special cables that you can buy from AliExpress, but back then like the Wii wasn't a great option. Or rather I said like it's still a great option. So let's plug in the controller, let's put in the disc, and let's have some GameCube fun today. Because you still need a remote to basically access the menu. There's a little bit of a bummer, it doesn't boot up automatically. But in combination with the 480p signal, it looks amazing. And of course, we can even go into the naughty mode and make yourself a naughty Wii. What do I mean with this? You can soft mod this freaking thing and you can do awesome things like putting an SD card in with games. You can use an external hard drive. Like, it's crazy if you think about it. I don't want to go in depth in this too much, but basically what you can do with it is like opening up the homebrew channel and yeah, low side load a lot of great pieces of programming, including emulation, or yet you can make the Wii an emulation beast and can play a lot of great home games. So you can even do more, you have like Wii, GameCube and retro gaming, or just store everything on an external drive and load it up with USB loader. Nevertheless, there is so much stuff you can do with the Wii. It's like freaking magic. But yeah, the Wii is an amazing piece of tech to collect nowadays. But of course, take consideration with the GameCube edition in built in that you don't have this option for every single Wii system. And yeah, the Wii, there are many ways to go to, even including a naughty way. So if you're going to pick up a lot from somebody, games are incomplete because there is no metal or games are going to be completely scratched up like I have a couple of them. Yeah, let me know in the comments, do you have a Wii and what do you think of the Wii in general? Do you still play it? Do you enjoy it? I want to thank you for watching, consider subscribing, hit that little bell, become one of the Wicked family and I will see you in the next video.